Okay, so this is what our agenda: VBCS uh, versus VBC, VBS versus VBCS, and different methods to create a project. And what is workspace? And the importance of Git repository, and and then we will see a small demo. So first, uh, VBS. As uh, we know, uh, for extending Visual Builder, um, for extending Oracle Fusion Cloud application pages, uh, so we will use Visual Builder Studio. So it is designed specifically to extend Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. By default, Visual Builder Studio instance will be provisioned to a test instance, and then later we might change uh, to a different uh, non-prod non instance by raising SR. So it's a, a visual and declarative uh, cloud environment for developing either mobile applications or web applications. So using v VBS, uh, not only extending um, Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. So we can also create some standalone applications within Visual Builder Studio. With a lifecycle management tools. Mm -hmm. So sure. then coming to VBCS, uh, it's a it's a platform as a service. So uh, it's a open source standard based uh, applic tool uh, to develop uh, same web or mobile applications. And this will be deployed uh, within Oracle Cloud environment, the app application. So, so if we if we take a OIC license, so it includes three services. VBCS is one of that service, one of the offering. Integration cloud service, Visual Builder cloud service, process cloud service. So it's a, so VBCS is a platform as a service that comes with OIC offering. And in some, uh, in some cases, uh, for SaaS, uh, when it comes to TCS, Digital Customer Service Portal, or uh, Partner Portal, so these two portals also will be developed with VBCS, uh, VBCS too. So now we will see the differences between VBCS and uh, VBS. So first VBCS, it comes with some uh, default database with up to five GB and uh, we can also connect to a database. We can create our own uh, business objects uh, to, to store some data in the form of objects. In VBCS, it is directly connected to Oracle Fusion Cloud database. You cannot create uh, your own DB or uh, business objects here, but you can connect Oracle Fusion Cloud database with uh, custom objects or any other standard objects to store the data. So in place of uh, business objects, we can use custom objects if we want uh, any custom tables. So in VBCS, we don't have uh, Git repository, CA, CD, all that uh, project lifecycle tools. We don't have. But in VBCS, we have uh, Git, CA, CD, and then it supports all the project lifecycle tools such as issue management, uh, Git repository, all these things. 
So VBCS is a standalone app, which is not uh, federated with uh, Fusion applications. But when it comes to VBS, it is uh, pre-federated to Fusion applications. Mm -hmm. And um, so we can develop applications and use outside of, uh, I mean, um, we can develop applications even uh, with some data, something outside of Fusion applications. But VBCS is specific to Fusion, applic Fusion application. You can connect here all, uh, in VBSS also, you can, you can connect some external data services as a REST endpoint. But this is specific to, um, mainly specific to Fusion applications. With VBCS, you can build your own apps with a custom look and feel. There is no restrictions in VBCS, but in VBCS, in VBS, you have uh, restrict some restrictions. You need to stick to uh, Fusion applications look and feel. It's not uh, flexible. Mm -hmm. um, it's not. There is no. Um, so there is some restrictions basically. So then um, it runs independent of Fusion applications because uh, it's a, uh, we can we can connect any of the database, uh, like, so any of the database or any of the endpoint. If we develop uh, VBS, it, it depends on Fusion application because it is only uh, for the Fusion application users. And we already discussed at this point uh, on custom objects. So in VBCS, we will use business objects. And here we will use Fusion application custom objects for uh, storage. So when we will use Visual Builder or Visual Builder Studio. Okay, so these are a uh, few points uh, on when to use uh, these uh, these tools. If you want to extend Fusion application pages, not all, uh, whatever is uh, already uh, developed with VBCS. So if you want to extend existing VBS pages, so you can use this tool. If you want to uh, create some extensions that are uh, related to Fusion application, so you can create your own app UIs. You can create your own custom app UIs, and then you can extend those as well, or you can you can create or uh, extend the custom app UIs that are relevant to Fusion applications. So this is accessible only to the Fusion application resources, Fusion application users only. And when we want Fusion look and feel, so we will use VBS. If you don't want the VBCS license or VB or VB Visual Builder or Visual Builder Cloud Service, both are same. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to purchase VBCS license, you can use VBS. It is recommended for SaaS extensions. If you want to uh, plan, manage all the uh, implementations, right? So because we have project lifecycle tools with VBCS, we can use this. 
it has inbuilt identity federation with the help of IDCS. So in that case also, we can use VBCS. Uh, we use uh, VBCS if you want to create an app, uh, standalone or completely custom. Uh, so in addition to Fusion extensions, so we can use, it's a completely standalone uh, application. So then we, we can consider VBCS. If you want to give access to the non-fusion application resources. So then you need to consider PBCS. If you want to access the data in some standalone database, so then you can connect that database to VPCS. And if you want some custom look and feel, so then also you can consider because uh, in VBS it is restricted to fusion application look and feel. If you want some full control, uh, fully featured, right? So it is, it gives all the flexibility in VBCS. And if you want uh, custom uh, URLs, so you can consider VBCS. So these are uh, some key uh, considerations to use uh, Visual Builder and Visual Builder Studio. Okay, so uh, now coming to uh, Visual Builder projects. So yesterday also we have seen um, um, some project overview. So it's a container that holds everything that is uh, relevant uh, to extend the application, like authorization. So who needs